Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We're back with a fun one. This is the official season five trailer for The Expanse. Uh, before we jump into the trailer reaction for season five, I should let you know I reacted to all of season four. Uh, you can find those in a playlist on the channel. I'll link it down below in the com or not in the comments, but in the description. Um, I've also read all of the books that have been released up to this point, so. I know generally what's going to happen, so if you are not a fan of possibly knowing what's going to happen or, or spoilers in a sense, I'll try not to be too spoilery, I guess, but um, it's difficult to remain or like act surprised when you see things when you know it's coming, so um, gauge your interest on this video based on that. <laughs> Now, am I excited for season five? Yes, absolutely. I loved season four, even though it was very much a kind of a departure from what The Expanse has showed itself to be kind of over the course of its run. Um, you know, the first three seasons is, you know, spacefaring, like hard science mixed with some fantastical elements, but like very like the actual science of everything is very rooted in itself and lots of like space, like hence the name The Expanse. Um, season four didn't show a lot of like space stuff, like on their ship, ship to ship combat, um, low gravity, things like that. It was a lot of the story was focused on the planet Illus. Um, and I think knowing the story, season five, will most likely be going back to the more space-faring type thing. Um, one thing I am super curious about how they are going to handle for season five is um, the storyline with Alex, Alex Kamal. And if you are a like diehard fan of The Expanse, like I am, you are probably aware of like the the uh, the storyline and the allegations surrounding uh hit the actor who plays him Cass Anvar uh there's been a whole lot of stuff that have, has come out from like fans uh and other people suggesting that he kind of used his power and fandom for like some pretty inappropriate things in terms of just like how you, a star of a show should interact with fans and and you know things like that and there's an investigation happening uh from the the studio so i guess we'll find out eventually the result of that um and depending on how they go with that you know beyond season five if they have season six seven eight nine whatever it's entirely possible that the actor for Alex could be recast, um, which I think would be the solution, unless they found a new character to like take that place as you know the pilot of the ship, because um, Alex Alex plays a a monumental role in this series, so the, I don't think they could just write him out. Um, they would have to recast him, in my opinion. Um, which sucks because the guy who plays him is is the perfect choice for the character but you know if if the things that are being said about him are true then you you kind of have no choice but to take the steps along that road um yeah i don't know there's lots of interesting things that's just one of them um but i've been talking a little bit too long now so let's actually just watch the trailer and then I'll talk more after. Uh, here we go. My name is Marco Minaros. I am the commander of the Free Navy. Yo, this looks so... That, look, that shot looks so good. the opening of the alien gates, we are at a crossroads. No longer will build Ooh, he looks good. With this attack, we will show Alex, our hello. Bobby. Never thought possible. The future of the belt has begun. Yeah, they dropped asteroids on Earth. 
that was the the end of season three, four. I mean, you got a ship of your own, a good crew, someone who loves you and you love. You're not responsible for the world. Why are you going back to Earth? I have personal business. Gotta visit Peaches. This place Ashford's ship. I never thought I'd actually oh, find Ashford. Him. Ashford, I miss him. No PA informant. This is your son. I'm afraid I bound for Palace. I have to go find Philip. She goes to find her kid. I'm always waiting for you to turn up. This world is messed up. Float to the top or sink to the bottom. Everything in the middle is a churn. <sighs> Timothy intends to attack civilian targets. I don't know if it's a single huge conspiracy, but someone high up in the chain of command is in on it. This is not my fight. Marco has millions of vertes. If we go toe to toe with him, we could lose. You have committed the entire belt to war with the inner. This is they wanted to fight. The storyline is gonna be insane. We'll give up one. Time to take the rest you have for a hunt. Do the stuff, fly boy. Marco Silla accomplished what a century of leaders have promised. He's gonna unite a hundred separate factions into one nation. It's time to let the system know who we are. This looks so good. December 16th it's coming soon oh my god yo yo that looks so good like oh man you can really tell like uh just the care that's put into this show oh, it's amazing and you can also tell that like season four of the show was almost somewhat a reset of uh of of storylines so like the first three seasons were all about you know, what's happening with the proto molecule, then opening the ring gates, and then seeing these far future planets. And then that was like a resetting point to where now the world is completely different and there's a war coming. <laughs> like, if you know what's gonna happen, this season is insane. It's like seeing the clips of, of, of what is shown and what I know it means is incredible like just the fact that like one so we know end of season four marco drops uh asteroids on uh earth i almost said asteroids on minnesota because that's where i'm from but asteroid asteroids on earth like two to i think it's three of them and you know you can use your head and assume that if two to three large rocks impact earth that is the death of billions of people like millions right off the bat and then the fallout from that is billions earth collapsing and dying you know the whole shebang um and so marco's plan as shown in this trailer is to unite like he's he's done the unthinkable there's always been the thought process of like earth is untouchable the inner planets, like, you you can't, like, the, the, it'll always be there is the thought process. And then he's like, why? Like, why? why can't we stop that? Um, so he drops the asteroids, and then his plan is to unite all of the belters, every belter out there, and key members of uh, the Martian military to create what is called the Free Navy. Um so, you know, how he got this tech, how he got these plans, all these things came from, like, a coup inside the Martian military, um, which is what Bobby was talking about. And all of that combined to make the Free Navy and him the leader of the Free Navy to, like, his end goal, I if I remember correctly, isn't necessarily to make everyone equal, but to make, like the belters um like the rightful like in charge people marco doesn't want 
earthers, Martians, belters to be like on an even plane. He wants belters to be elevated above uh, due to their history of being put down. Um, yeah, that like that's that's his plan uh, to is to do that. And and he's planning on starting a war with that. So this whole season, it looks like is going to be all about the war that Marco is going to wage. Um, there's key things, including, uh, you know, his kid, Philip, like how that is going to play with him and Naomi. Um, you know, Amos going back to Earth, uh, following the aftermath of these explosions, or technically during the explosions, um, and like his journey at that time, you know, what Alex is going through, what Bobby's going through, it's all incredible. And I am so freaking pumped for you guys to see it. If you haven't read the books, you are going to be so thrilled with, with this season. Like, I think if you were to compare, just looking at this, like I was pumped for season four just to see, you know, how they were going to show everything. But if you know, <laughs> like... If you were to compare season four to season five, I would give season four like a 7.5, an 8 out of 10. I'm predicting season five to be like a 9.5, 10 out of 10. Like it, it's so freaking good what's about to happen. Uh, and I can't wait to see it. Only a few months left. So we're coming up. We're getting there. Um, let me know what you guys saw the trailer down below. What are you most excited for? Uh, like, are you, are you, did you fall off a little bit, uh, from season four? Like, I know a lot of people weren't thrilled with season four. I also know they're releasing season five weekly, which some reason people are not happy with. Um, I'm personally thrilled about it. Uh, it makes it easier to, to react to the videos, um, or to the episodes and makes it easier to not have to worry about getting the videos out super quick like when the shows are just dropped binge watched uh something that often happens is people will watch all the episodes in like a week or less and then within a week or two after that they'll kind of forget about the show until it's like season the next season is starting to you know be teased or whatever uh with this dropping weekly like people don't just think about the show for two weeks, they think about the show for 10 weeks. Um, like the show is collectively on people's minds for longer. It provides greater opportunity to discuss what happens in the show uh, with friends, with family, with people on the internet. Um, cliffhangers have an actual impact. <laughs> um, like instead of getting the immediate payoff uh, right away for the next episode, you have to wait a week and see it like I personally love weekly also like it's just a, a better bottom line I mean I know Amazon Prime is typically bought yearly like people buy like one year memberships of Amazon Prime right uh so I don't know if that necessarily affects things in terms of the bottom line I know like I, I don't know why Netflix doesn't release stuff weekly um I know Disney Plus does um things like that like it just and HBO like it keeps the people subscribed for longer uh which is just smarter on the business end um so I I would be surprised if, Net if uh, Netflix doesn't go that route soon but Amazon is clearly they saw um they probably saw the the impact that really releasing weekly has had with the boys you know it it got review season two of the boys got review bombed early by people that were upset that it didn't all come out at once. But like the week to week ratings for the boys has been insane. Like people have tuned in to watch that so much. So um, I expect something similar for The Expanse. Uh, I don't know if The Expanse has as large of an audience as the boys, but it has a huge cult following from when it was on sci-fi. And now I think the audience has just gone up even more since uh, being picked up by Amazon. So I'm excited for the weekly releases, honestly. So I hope you guys are too, you know, 
you get to you get to watch the expanse for longer <laughs> uh instead of forgetting about it in you know three weeks it also like it also lessens the weight for the next season like when you watch all of the season in a, in a week you think you're it feels like you're spending like two three years waiting for the next season to come out but if you watch all the season over the course of 10 weeks the wait for the next season seems less i don't know but uh yeah that's all i got uh again let me know your thoughts on any of this down below um if you liked what you saw please leave a like on the video if you really liked it subscribe if you want to see my reactions for uh season five definitely subscribe if you want to see my reactions for season four check them out in the description and i will catch you guys next time peace